gathering, let me read one verse from the Word of God. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. First of all, I would like to welcome and greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I do welcome and extend a special greetings to Sri Conrad K. Sangma, our Honorable Chief Minister, and Sri Preston Tensong, Deputy Chief Minister, who have consented to come and grace this historic occasion as the Chief Guest and a Guest of Honor, respectively. Your presence, uh, both of you, will make this gathering a meaningful and a remarkable one. Now I call Sister El Warba, the Principal College of Nursing, and Dr. Alba Tarian, Sister Medical Officer in Church Blood Center, to kindly felicitate the Chief Guests and the Guests of Honor. And I request all of us to kindly stand. At the same time, Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram, Associate Director, Mission from CMC Below, would like to do a favor to our Chief Minister and at the same time to our Deputy Chief Minister. I request Dr. to come forward. Please be seated. For all the distinguished guests, church ministers, dignitaries, invitees, well wishes, and friends, I do welcome you also to this gathering, and your presence is in this heaven is a great inspiration to all of us. And before we go ahead with the program, let looks to God in prayer. Gracious God, from whom all blessings flow, as we gather together to celebrate the hundred years remarkable journey and valuable service rendered by this hospital, let your grace, mercy, your love, kindness, and your continual presence be upon us as you have been in the past. We earnestly pray unto you, Lord, Kindly cleanse the thoughts of our hearts through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and wash all our iniquities through the blood of Jesus Christ, that we may sincerely and perfectly love you and that we may worthily magnify and honor your holy name. Bless the program as a whole, O Lord, our God, and our Master, and bless this hospital. Bless each one of, life, uh, of us. And we ask all this in the name and for the sake of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll join together in singing that song we have in this program sheet, Milong Bakrao. Then after this song, I would request Reverend C.S. Sushan, the secretary of the Kasi Jaintia Presbyterian Assembly, to kindly lead us here in Bible reading and prayer. And after that, I will hand over the program to the Masters of Ceremonies. Let's sing that song. 
hymn number one. Shall we stand? Abba a try, ki kam jong me nga per kan, kan no nga dam, da jing leng ngo boy krao, nga i ki klur, nga seo jing reo o per kan, ke leng sao dong ka, bor jong me ka pa, For all our friends who may not understand Kasi, the scripture 
Preceding our prayer is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verses 3, uh, verses 4 up to 6. Tungin siya ako ay kutiin ng chongblay. Siya ulo ba ikigikus lai jongi? Ba ulo kiet ikiging snow si jongi? Panban ng lenyo yu balapan mong balasyo ado blay bat balapan cinjar. Henry lapan mong yu ni na magigiling kang jongi. Lapan luwet yu na mahal kiging le bom hok jongi. Kiging pensitom kiging suk jongi. Kala long halo jungu, bad kijing jam senam jungu lepen kia ini. Ngi baru kum ke langbrot ngi lesa kema. Ngi lap hai no uwey uwey hala galenti. Ti utrai ula ba halo jungu. Ya kijing bom hak jungi baru. Tungin pendam ha kijing duai. Kuk pa jingi bahab neng. Long baku ke kerteng ke jome. Ngi ayungu imu kenderaan bi ini makan di kapur ke bakodor. Kami Malaysia ini kembali alam yang ini bandon sipor hak ini kerja aku kenderaan bi. Hak kencing sedang ya kencing rakhi ya kencing dap kispa terlebih senam. Jom ke Dr H Gordon Robert Hospital. Ngi ayungu rime cerai babahab melapelat yang ini kencing E di babun. Bat long baju kan di kencing don cengi hak ini kerja aku terai. Ingin yo ru tribe i dan pun pahau ia kerja kaburam kecumi. Ia kikam kibakrau kemelai ti pateng hangi. Kum kabalang hang ni hari kesi bat jain cia. Apa deng kejeng dorang kat jengki kun kejeng mau kan rabi i. Ino yalam jengki balang kejengi. Nadu ke assembly. Oh ti press tri kejengi. Ino yalam kibadei. Haga senjar ke kadar ke ri kejengi. Iwan naga naga step ku tribe dan pendam ya lady. Pan IT ki met bat ki min sim ki jangi haga jing alam ko chimu ko kanrat ba ba ngi wan ro ban phla ka ma chimu ko try bi bengi long ki bru ki batlat kum ka balang hapeding ki ki snem ki jing yat len ti jong ka ni hospital hapeding ki jing yat len ti jong ka bat ki ji chakri jong ka mele alam ka wat hapeding ki ji yat len ti ki ba e ru try bi na ma ka ta ka ni ka step ngi ker pal i mim sa ba ba nang ka ru ngi Rengkat bat kini kejeng rakhi kini kesengi. Kini kini baru kini sependek ku terai babah. Kini long tang negem taban pendon buram ini. Ngiyo iru terai bi'i. Ya kalawai kebadan cingkermen. Kalawai kebadan kecil alam kejauh mensi yang berkuat jame. Kini ke hospital ku kenerat babah. Hapadeng kejeng ek kebah harukam bagi beriw. Kimah dah kejeng im. Kejeng tenju. Kejeng elek kebalak ban ketak ya kejeng im jangki. Bat kam tam ko trai gi jing pang bat gi jing sitam. Trai ba bahangi kerpat imi mesaban kerkuhi kene ka hospital. Bakan lak ko trai bi iban ay gi jing syakri ke bajan ay. Naduk gi doktor, gi nurse, gi wepat ki badan ke bentak ke bakra ban syakri yumi. Lembah kene ka hospital ko kenerat ba baha. Trai bi iit hapadeng gi jing kip halok jang kene ka pertai. Hapadeng gi lat lat ki air yong ki baharukam. Gi jing jing jahar ki baharukam. Trai bi iit ya lam yu kene ka hospital. Kenapa kan lak wan wan rak ya kejeng long jai jai, kan wan rak ya kejeng penkia, kan lak lu try bi ban ay ya kejeng syakri, bat ban ya lap lu ya gospel jang kejeng impenem kejame, lang bagan ya ke ministry ke mula IT peteng hengi, kerku kenderaan bi iit ya kejeng bentak wan angsa jang kejeng syakri, kerku kenderaan bi iit ya kejeng baru kejeng pendep kejeng ya kejeng step, kam tam go try bi iit kejeng pendon buram, lang bagan ya kejeng tap cispa teligis nem. Kerkuru tribe ini ya ke assembly baru kau eh, bat ki kam jong ki jing tray ki baharu kom, ki bah ka hab ban tray, ki bah ka hab ku kenderai bi ban kit, nang tadi senam ki barang sa jong ka jing im jong ka, pendap ingi ka jing suk bat ka jing kemen ka jame, nama kini baru ngi pahan ker pat ngi ngi dem, aku nau tribe bau nong pen im jong ki jusuk kris, menta ciduk ki bom jukuru, amen. Good morning, everyone, once again, and a very warm welcome. Our chairman, the chief guest, and guest of honor, the dignitaries, our special guests and invitees, our colleagues and friends, and everyone present here. Such a beautiful day, isn't it? 
I would like to thank Reverend S. S. Majau, our chairman, for leading us through the initial part of the ceremony. Next, we are going to have the welcome address, which is going to be delivered by the member's son, Dr. R. Nongrum, the medical superintendent of our beloved hospital, Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Shillong. He is known as the humble leader, the figure who has been steering us, the hospital as a whole, in the last six years. I invite you, sir, to take the stage and deliver the speech. I'm standing here on behalf of Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hostel Shillong, governing board, Century Celebration Organizing Committee, and the sponsoring body, KJP Kasi Jaintia Presbyterian Assembly, to keep the welcome address. On this auspicious occasion of the opening ceremony of centenary of our hostel, at the very outset, I would like to extend warm wishes and welcome to all the distinguished guests, officials, members of the hostel coming board, officials and representatives from different church bodies, honorable minister, MPs, MLA, MDCs, seniors officials of the government of Mekhalaya, district administrations, dignitaries, and heads from different institutions and organizations Rang Bajinong of different localities, personnel from the police department, fires and emergency services. I welcome the medical superintendent and directors of hostel in Arau, Shillong, choirs, NCC cadets of Synod's College, media, print and electronics, all donors, well-wishers and friends. In the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I extremely apologize due to time constraint. I will not be able to mention your names and distinctions. I welcome our friends from outside the state who come all the way to join us in this celebration. Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram, Associate Director's Mission, Dr. B.J. Anand Ismabel, Dr. Anand Mirian, Mission Consultant, CMC Bello, Dr. Priya Jones, General Secretary, Christian Medical Association of India, New Delhi, Srimati Sumati Jairus, Manager Swiftware Solution, Chennai. I am also pleased to welcome former medical superintendent, administrative officers, retired staff, workers of the hostel, including rural health centers, who have played a vital role in the development of the hostel. We acknowledge your contribution. At this juncture, I would like to express special welcome to our chief guest, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, Honorable Chief Minister, and the guest of honor, Sri Presto Ntunsong, Deputy Chief Minister of Mekhalaya, who in spite of their busy schedules with an enormous responsibility, have spared their valuable time to grace the occasion as the chief guest and guest of honor respectively. Sirs, your kind presence will make this occasion meaningful and inspiring to all of us. Last but not the least, on this occasion, we pay tribute to our beloved founder, Reverend Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, a missionary doctor from the Presbyterian Church of Wales, for the vision to establish this hostel that we continue to, to inherit and cherish till date. Nevertheless, great thanks to God Almighty, whom we understand that without him, we could do nothing. Once again, I, on behalf of the hostel, welcome all of you to this great celebration. Thank you. God bless. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words of welcome. That was the member son, Dr. R. Nongrum, who is the medical superintendent of the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Shillong. And as already mentioned by previous speakers, we have gathered together this morning for a very special event. And that is to commemorate the 100th year anniversary 
of this great iconic hospital which has become a popular landmark in this part of the city. The Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, popularly known as Roberts Hospital. For a hundred years, this hospital stands tall in the midst of the city. It has become an emblem of a place of hope, a place of health, a place of healing for all the sick and the suffering from far and from near. And this morning, in order to flag off this inaugural celebration, the centenary celebration of the Dr. H. Gordon's Roberts Hospital, I would like to invite our chief guest, Mr. Conrad Sangma, to kindly hoist the centenary flag. And uh, I would also like to request the following uh, members to kindly accompany our chief guest for the hoisting of the flag. Our guest of honor, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister Shri Preston Tinsong, the chairman of this organizing committee, Reverend S.S. Majau, the organizing secretary, the Menbasan F.J. Myram, Senior Administrative Secretary, KJP Assembly, Administrative Secretary, KJP Assembly, the Medical Superintendent of the Hospital, the Administrative Officer, and the Principal of the College of Nursing. I request the gathering to kindly stand as we hoist the centenary flag. Very good morning to everyone, and uh, thank you for uh, inviting all of us for this uh, very, very important program. Uh, with this initial hoisting of the flag, I would like to declare the celebrations of the centenary celebrations as open. Thank you very much. I request the guests to be seated, please. We extend our gratitude to our Honourable Chief Minister for leading us in hoisting our centenary flag. It is a very great honour to have you, sir, Sri Conrad K. Sangma. We are now pleased to introduce and welcome our guest of honour, Sri Preston Tinsong, the Honourable De Deputy Chief Minister of our state. Sir, we invite you to the stage to grace us with your presence 
and with your valuable words. Honorable Chief Minister, Chief Guest of this function this morning, Reverend S.S. Majao, Chairman of this medical institution, we have here our special guest, local MLA, Adelbert Nongrum, as well as Mr. Rapsang. I'm happy to see our Chief Secretary, Mr. D.P. Walang, who is also part of this celebration this morning. Respected pastors, respect, uh, respected church elders, the medical officers, paramedical staff, and especially the medical superintendent, Dr. Anong Rum, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to be part of this celebration. And I made to understand today is the inaugural function which the celebration will take off maybe for another few months from now. My wish is to see that this celebration of the journey that we have for 100 years will ultimately translate it into reality in the sense that the services of this hospital will be inspired by all the residents of the state of Megala. I'm so happy to see that the special guests, special invitees from outside the state, they are also together with us. I thank them and I'm sure the hospital management do have a close understanding, especially with Velo Hospital and other hospitals throughout the country. So friends, we just step into the celebration. I would like to request all of us, let us be part of the stakeholders in seeing this institution grows in the years to come. I'm so happy to see the management of these hospitals have discharged their duties without pain and with a lot of sacrifices to sustain and also to improve the functioning of this hospital. God will lead us for another hundred years, and I'm sure God will keep showering his blessings to the, to the management, to the staff, to the medical officers, and all the employees of this hospital. Friends, I don't want to talk much. CM is leaving very soon. He has so many programs today in Garo Hills. I'm so thankful to him. In spite of a very, very tight schedule, he is able to make it and to be with us 
this morning. So once again, I wish you all the best and let this celebration once again become a grand success, not only to the management alone, but we dedicate this celebration to the whole state of Meghala. And as you all know, the celebration of 50th year of the state of Meghala is ended in the month of December. Hopefully this celebration is part of the 50th year of our statehood. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words of greetings and for your well wishes upon the hospital as they move forward into their centenary celebration. Uh, Shri Preston Tinsong, that was our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, thank you so much. We are also very, very encouraged to have in our midst so many other distinguished guests and dignitaries. We want to acknowledge your presence with us and uh, we would also like to convey to you that your presence is a great encouragement to the gathering and particularly to the hospital community. We will now be honoured by the inaugural address from our Honourable Chief Minister from the Government of Meghalaya, Sri Conrad K. Sangma. So sir, we thank you for sparing your time and uh, we give this time to you. <laughs> Reverend S.S. Majau, the chairman of today's program, Our wonderful compares for today, Dr. Girin Lingdo and Dr. Badari Milenyap, our uh, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister of Government of Meghalaya, Sri Preston Tinsong, all the other respected MLAs who are present here on the dais, all our government officials who are here present on the dais, the medical superintendent of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Shillong, Dr. R. Nongrum, the senior administrative secretary of the Kasi Jentia Presbyterian Assembly, Reverend S. R. Dakar, Our guests who have come from different parts of this country, especially Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram, Dr. Vijay Anand, Dr. Priya, and all the other guests who have come in here to be part of this inaugural celebration. All the doctors and all the staff of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts hospital, all the church elders who are present out here, and most importantly, all the citizens who have come here to be part of this very, very memorable occasion and the inaugural program of the centenary celebration of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital. At the very outset, I would like to thank God Almighty, not just for this beautiful day that he has given to each and every one of us, but more importantly, for the blessings of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, who was a missionary who started his journey and the journey of this hospital 100 years ago. And I don't think when this journey had started 
hundred years back that Dr. H. Gordon Roberts would have ever imagined that we all would be here hundred years from then. Today, celebrating him, celebrating God, and celebrating the wonderful work that this hospital has done for the people of Shillong, of this region, and for the state as a whole. I do apologize that I will not be able to stay for the entire program, as mentioned by our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, that I have two more programs in a remote and corner part of Meghalaya in Garobada, and hence I will have to fly there, post which I have another program in uh, Mindi, which is in North Garo Hills, following which again, for some urgent appointments, I will be traveling to Delhi in the evening by the evening flight. And hence, um, it is quite a packed schedule for me today, and I do apologize once again for not being able to spend this whole day with you, especially to be part of the entire inaugural celebration that we are having. Friends, uh, as has been mentioned by so many who have spoken in before me, especially doc our uh, doctors, the superintendent who spoke before me, our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister who had spoken before me, we look back at the way Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital has contributed to our society. And I take this opportunity on behalf of the citizens of our state to thank all the doctors and staff of the hospital, not just the present, but even those who have in the past contributed and worked towards making this hospital what it is. This is a moment to look back. This is a moment to thank Almighty. This is a moment to thank all those who have contributed to making this hospital what it is and for the numerous contributions that all the different members have made to society, especially to the people of Shillong. I remember two and a half, three years back when we were all struggling with the challenge of the COVID pandemic. Entire life had just come to a halt. People were scared. People were worried. We didn't know how things would move forward. We were facing an enemy who we could not see and we didn't know how strong or how weak or how to defeat them. And yet during those difficult times, the doctors of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital and many other hospitals, I could see so many of the directors and medical superintendents sitting here on, the, on my right who are here today. I think this is an apt moment for us all to remember those days and thank each and every one of them for those sleepless nights that they went through, for having taken the risk of their own lives to save the lives of the people and the citizens of our state. It was a very difficult moment we, we sometimes tend to forget because it has already passed us. But for some of us who were in the full depth of the entire fight against COVID, 
including Honorable Deputy Chief Minister. I can see Bahek also here. And so many of us, we remember how Dr. H. Gordon's, Gordon Roberts Hospital had contributed at that time. And I take this opportunity to thank all the doctors, not just from Roberts Hospital, but from all the other hospitals, all the staff that had helped us overcome that challenge. And as I mentioned, even at the risk of losing their own lives. And that's the kind of dedication that we have seen from all the different doctors, especially Roberts Hospital. And here I would like to thank and mention the contribution of the Presbyterian Church. The way the contributions have been made to our society, to our people. Roberts Hospital today is doing an excellent job. But the entire strength comes from the prayers that our church elders, that the people of the church have been praying. The commitment that comes out of the doctors is because they know they are serving the people in the name of the Lord. This kind of passion is not possible without the prayers and the blessings from above. And hence I thank the Presbyterian Church for not just what they are doing here, but for so many other sectors where people's lives have been changed because of the work that they are doing. They've been healing not just the body out here, but healing the mind, the soul, and the spirit. And that is a dedication with which the Presbyterian Church has been working. And I take this opportunity to thank each and every one for all the contributions and the work that you have done in these past hundred years. I was very, very pleased and happy to see that the governing body and the staff and the team at uh, Roberts Hospital has not just remembered to celebrate the last hundred years, which is very important, to look back and see what they went through, improve on things that may not have gone the way they planned, but what is most satisfying to see today is that they have already planned for the next hundred years. And that is a true sign of a visionary organization, a visionary mission, a visionary team that not just celebrates the past hundred years but says that we are here today and we are going to get there in the next hundred years. And I think I appreciate and I really congratulate the team of Roberts Hospital and the entire Presbyterian Church, the governing body, for having had that vision today. I'm happy to tell you that they met me, the governing body met me. And they've put in a plan to have the annexure buildings to expand the hospital in the next many, many years to come, a project worth over 50 crores has been planned. And this is most probably just the first phase because funds are not easy to come by. But they have a plan to see where they would want Roberts Hospital to be there in the next hundred years. And with this plan, we're moving forward. I want to assure the governing body that the kind of work that you are doing, we as a government are there to support you in every possible way. The project that has been put in is a project we will have to move with different central agencies to fund a big project like this of 50 crores. And I can assure you that myself, our Deputy Chief Minister, and the entire government, including the officials, we will support this project. We will move this project in Delhi. We hope that we will be able to get necessary funds even if it means in a phase-wise manner, 
to be able to see that this new project of the annexure building and the extension of the hospital sees the light of day. So this is something that is very important and I'm happy to see that it's happening. And as a small token, I know that it's not enough. But as you are all aware that every year as a chief minister, I am given a chief minister's special development fund, which I have to distribute among different organizations, groups, MLAs, which I do. So from that fund, at least a small token of contribution I would like to hand over to our superintendent today. There's a small sanction letter under the Chief Minister's Special Development Fund for a small amount of 20 lakh rupees from my Chief Minister's Development Fund. I would like to just hand this over to our superintendent as a small token for my side. Apart from that, as I mentioned, that we will continue to see on how we can make this project a success. As they say, Rome was not built in one day, but we have to make a start. It is the faith that we will succeed and we will complete this is what will keep us going. And hence, every small contribution that we make adds to the overall goal that we are trying to achieve. And I would urge that everybody should work together jointly to make this project a success as this will be a blessing for not just the people of this area but the entire state as a whole. I once again would like to thank the organizing committee for having invited me our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister and all of us to be part of this wonderful program. And at the end, I would just like to say that we are all here for the same purpose. And the purpose is to serve the people. The purpose is to serve our Almighty. We may be in different positions. We may be in different fields. Some of us may be officers, some of us may be politicians, some of us doctors, some of us church elders. But at the end of the day, we are all here to serve the Almighty and to serve the people of our state in whatever capacity we can. I hope and pray that this purpose and this sense of commitment is what should drive us, not just now, but also in the days to come. With these few words, once again, I thank the organizing committee for having invited us. I congratulate all the governing body members, past and the present, the entire staff of Roberts Hospital, past and present. I congratulate you on this centenary celebration and once again declare this centenary celebration as open and I wish you all the very, very best for the future. May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital and may God bless our beautiful state of Meghalaya. Kublai Shibun, Mathela and Jaihin. Thank you so much, sir, for your words. And we also want to thank you for your presence with us this morning and also for your continued support and patronage to the humanitarian and social causes of the state. And uh, we pray that God will bless you and give you special wisdom and guidance as you continue to lead the state forward. So thank you so much. As mentioned earlier, today's gathering marks a very special event in the history and the journey of the hospital. As we inaugurate this centenary, we cannot but we can only look back at the roots and the origin of this historic institution. 
As already mentioned by our previous speakers, the hospital began in the year 1920-22 through the initiative and the commitment of one man, and that is Reverend Dr. H. Gordon Roberts. Dr. H. Gordon Roberts was born on the 16th of July, 1885, in Liverpool, UK. And yet, it was during the Great Welsh Revival of 1904-05, when he made a personal commitment to follow Christ as his saviour, that truly marked the beginning of his career and shaped the direction that his life and his ministry was going to take, one that will make a lasting impact upon our hills and upon the lives of a people and a nation thousands of miles away from his own home. He looked upon his job as a doctor, not simply as a profession, but as a vocation, a calling, a ministry the ministry of healing, which he regarded as the gift of God to a suffering humanity. So this centenary marks a momentous milestone in the journey of the hospital, but at the same time, it also bears testimony to the dedicated service, the selfless sacrifice, and the deep commitment of its founder doctor fueled by a strong faith in God and a compassion for those who are suffering as he modeled his life and work upon that of the great physician himself, his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because of his selfless giving, dedication, and generous, unstinted service to God and to mankind, he became a living example to many others who were inspired by his example to serve and to give. And now to continue with this function, I would also like to invite the doctors and the staff of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Shillong, to kindly present the centenary theme song.
thank you so much to the team from the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital for that beautiful theme song. Once again, we want to thank our Chief Minister as he kindly leaves. We want to thank the team for this beautiful song, which is a beautiful tribute to the faithfulness of God through the generations. As the word of this song says, we will remember, O God, the works of your hands. There's no better tribute to the faithfulness of God and of his servants than by remembering the legacies that they have left behind with gratitude and committing ourselves to ensure that the work goes on and that the fire does not die. So as we continue with our celebration, I would now like to request Reverend N.S. Power, former Senior Administrator Administrative Secretary of the Kasi Jaintia Presbyterian Assembly to kindly come and dedicate this celebration in prayer. Reverend Chairman, all the dignitaries, invite, invited guests, and the representative from the Presby different presbytery of the KGP assembly, from the KGP assembly itself, and representative from the Sinan. Once again, I welcome you all to this uh, great day that we launched the, lo the year-long celebration of this centenary jubilee of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital. Thanks to all of you, not only for joining us here today, but also for making this symbolic day possible. This even marks the culmination of a hundred years story, a story that began with very humble beginning, while much has changed in the last 100 years. Today we are on a milestone journey in the life of the hospital as it is 100 years old. 100 years dedicated, committed, and quality healthcare service to the people of this region. Since the beginning, this house of hospitality has kept its door open to all who are sick and need healing, and those who need comfort, hope, and holistic care without any form of discrimination. As the Lord says, I came that they may have life and have it to the full. As we celebrate this century jubilee, we pray that our celebration will be an opportunity for the blessing which will renew our strength as we face the challenge of being the institution in this present century. Let us not forget the promise of God. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal the land. Ki prabagaj bae, ye don hangde ban celebrate, ya kane ka jingdap shispa snem jong kane ka hospital, ka baublay ulakar ku yagi. Ya wan mi ikman, Kidan Shibon ki Paralok ki Jongi ki bagi Kots Gowa Shagadiga celebration, but Kidan Shibon na pi kidan mi ikmat na ki presbytery na ki Senat ki Jongi ki bi adan ha kani ka por ban aigo yoblay na ka benta kani ka jing isnay ka yoblay yagi kung ka jay benriu ha kani ka ri Jongi ban ay yagi kani ka hospital 
ชิสปะสนมจองกะเนกะฮอสปิตาลกะจอกีบาดบอกเลยนกรคูยีกิโปรแกรมบาโรกิบาดังสะกิบังอินสะปนเดบฮากะเนกะสนมบาโรกะเ
We thank you, Reverend N.S. Power, for dedicating our ceremony. In continuation with our celebration, we are going to have the release of 100 balloons. We are honored to have in our midst Sri Mohindro Rapsang, MLA, West Shillong Constituency, and Sri Adalbert Nungrum, MLA of North Shillong Constituency. We request you to kindly do the honors. To accompany them, we, we are going to have the following. The Chairman, Reverend S.S. Majau, the Organizing Secretary, the member son F.J. Mayram, the Medical Superintendent, the member son Dr. R. Nongrum, and, and the Administrative Officer, Sri K. W. Marbanyang. We request the gathering to kindly stand. Hakaniga Klimat, a Sultanat, but you don't long Taski, Hakaniga Poor, and Polite Guinea Balloon, Kum Kadak, a gym play, Yakaniga Celebration, Jonka Centenary, Jonka Naka Hospital, Kublishu. Not only a poor, Upon Power Jing Sukuman, Moyo Bandanang Rinkat, Kamtam, Moyo Banta Hagban Raki. Yang dijaga identiti kasih spas nem, jangan jing syakri, lembah ni hospital, ya baru saudong saukun. Kini kalong kesini kapangi ong, dia sih kalau letter red letter day. But at very same time, I may also remind myself, maybe reminding all of us that we are all called to be mission. We are all called to mission, not to be mission. Thank you. These hundred balloons mark the hundred years of milestone which this hospital has reached by the grace of God. You may all be seated. We thank you, Sri Mohindro Rapsang and Sri Adilbert Nongrum, for gracing us with your presence here. We now take this time to acknowledge and felicitate our special guest. We have here in our midst Dr. Thomas Samuel Rao, Ram, Dr. Vijay Anand Ismave, Dr. Priya John, and Mrs. Sumati J. They have spared, we thank you for sparing your special and valuable time and traveling here to make this occasion more special and auspicious. I request Dr. Lisa Marbanyang, our senior medical officer, uh, Sister Pivaris Basayamad, our nursing superintendent, Mrs. Sanbohan Kurba, our office superintendent, and Mrs. Mebari Desyar, in charge of radiology department, to kindly de do the honors of felicitating our special guest.
thank you so much. We are very deeply honored and uh, very grateful to have in this celebration uh, so many participants and representatives from various uh, institutions from the state as well as from the nation to encourage and to enrich our celebration this morning. And now I would like to request uh, our guest to kindly come forward to the dais and to uh, read out their words of greetings on the occasion of this centenary. I would now like to request first Dr. Ms. D. Nongplo, who is the medical superintendent of the Dr. Norman Tunnel Hospital in Jowai, to kindly come forward, ma'am, and, um, and, and convey the greetings from your hospital to this hospital. Reverend S.S. Majao, who is the chairman of today's event, uh, the chief minister of Meghalaya, Sri Konrad K. Sangma, Dosa has just left us, the deputy chief minister of Meghalaya, Sri P.S. Tensong, The, the MLAs, Sri Mohendro uh, Rapsang and Sri Adalbert Nongrum, the, the ex senior administrative secretary, Kasi Jaintia. Presbyterian Assembly, Reverend N.S. Power, who is also the chairman of the managing committee of Dr. Norman Tunnel Hospital, Juan. All the dignitaries in the dais, Dr. R. Nongrum, the medical superintendent of Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hospital, Shillong, the doctors, the nurses, and all the staff of Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hospital, Shillong, all the invitees, friends, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here on behalf of Dr. Norman Tunnel Hospital, Jwai, on behalf of the entire management, the doctors, the nurses of Dr. Norman Tunnel Hospital, Jwai, which is the younger sister of this hospital, and both hospital under the Kasi Jaintia Presbyterian Assembly. It is indeed a great privilege for me to be here on this momentous day to bring greetings from our hospital to this hospital on this uh, momentous occasion of the opening ceremony of the centenary celebration of this hospital. A journey of 100 years, I'm sure, is a lot of ups and downs Tears of joy, tears of happiness, tears of disappointment. But to be able to exist and to serve and to continue striving towards greater heights is nothing but the grace of God. It's nothing but the wonder-walking power of God the faithfulness of God in the lives of those who had served here in the past, who are still serving now with the motto, service to God is 
service to man. And I salute them all. The theme of the centenary celebration is, thus far has the Lord led us. Taken from 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Yes, the Lord has helped Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hospital to attain this milestone and to continue in the service of healing ministry as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had done 2,000 years ago. As I stand here today, as we are here today, we cannot but look back to the tireless efforts of those who were in the beginning and those who had taken over over the last hundred years. The unsung heroes, the security staffs, the word boy, the word girls, the bi but the biomedical waste management staff, the entire force, the doctors and the nurses who had been tirelessly working with the motto to serve and not to be served. For us, it is like looking up to an elder sister and draw inspiration, admiration from the experiences and the challenges that this hospital had undergone over the years. And as I stand here today, once again, I would like to greet all the staffs of the hospital from the medical superintendent, Dr. R. Nongrum, the entire staff, the nurses, the doctors, once again, I would like to greet them as they begin this another journey. All the best. And at the same time, offering prayers to God that God will continue to guide them, to lead them, to sustain them, and all the plans and the projects that they are going to uh, have will be successful. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. D. Nongplo, Medical Superintendent of the Dr. Norman Tunnel Hospital in Joai. Thank you so much for your presence here with us, ma'am, and thank you for your words of greetings to the gathering. Um, though Dr. Gordon Roberts' name is mainly associated with this hospital, the Roberts Hospital, yet perhaps not many of us are aware that Dr. Roberts also played an instrumental role in helping to improve and build further on the hospital in Joai. On the 15th of September 1949, history records that after his retirement from active medical service, Dr. and Mrs. Roberts sailed back to India, Shillong, with the desire and the intention to help develop the hospital in Joai and to make it functional. This commitment bore fruit, and by the 8th of March, 1953, three years after Roberts Hospital in Shillong started. The Joai Hospital was inaugurated by the then Governor of Assam, Sri Jairam Das 
Daulat Ram. So we are thankful to God and we pray that this association between the two hospitals will continue to live on, to grow stronger, that it may continue to serve the people of the state and the nation as a whole. So thank you so much, ma'am. And now we would like to extend a very warm welcome to Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram, who is the Associate Director of the Missions CMC and H. Velour. Uh, we are very, very grateful that you can come all the way from Velour to be with us in this celebration, sir. And we really look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I would now like to invite you to kindly uh, convey your words of greetings and at the same time to give us a brief exhortation from the word. Honorable uh, Chief Minister Sri Conrad K. Sangma, <coughs> Honorable Deputy Chief Minister Sri Preston Tinsong, uh, respected uh, MLAs, uh, Reverend S.S. Majao, the Chairman, uh, Reverend S.R. Dakar, the Senior Administrative Secretary, uh, Dr. R. Nongrum, our Medical Superintendent of this hospital, uh, leaders and uh, pastors of KGP a church, uh, various dignitaries on the stage, uh, staff of the hospital, and my dear friends. I bring greetings to all of you uh, from Christian Medical College, Velour, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, apologies from our director, uh, Dr. Vikram Matthews, who was unable to uh, travel here due to some urgent matters. I like to read from Psalm 126, verse 3, which says, The Lord has done great things for us. We are joyful. It is indeed a joy and a privilege to be part of this history, an historical thanksgiving, and to reflect on the past hundred years of journey of this institution. It is special and I will say coincidental because we are also remembering hundred years since our first medical graduation happened in 1922. And about 80 years ago, there were close to 1,000 mission hospitals in our country. And independent India had about 700 Protestant mission hospitals all over the place. But in the span of last 70 to 80 years, hardly 200 of these hospitals exist, and approximately 50% of them are barely surviving or are in very challenging situations. So we praise God and we are really thankful that Robert's Hospital, in spite of several challenges in its journey at multiple phases since its beginning, has been one of the few 200 mission hospitals we know of in a country which continues to grow and continues to witness the healing ministry of Christ. And CMC is indeed blessed to be connected with Robert's Hospital and his other associate hospitals in a very meaningful manner and a very deep manner. And it has been an integral part of our network for the past 41 years. And I think we have trained close to maybe more than 100 healthcare professionals from this region at CMC Velour. And I'm sure many of you are sitting uh, in the audience. So really thank God for the training you all have undergone at CMC Velour. We had several other connections which were, I would say, quite um, deep. Uh, Dr. Friday Lingdo fondly was known as Uncle Lingdo back in Velour, and I'm sure he's here also. And he was a very prominent and a valuable member and brought a lot of insights in our CMC council. And we are also blessed uh, by the presence and wisdom of another gentleman from this region. That is uh, Mr. Barkos Vajri, who is now serving as the chairman of CMC Velour Council. And he's been instrumental in navigating institution through several challenges in the recent past years. So we really like to thank God for his contribution. On a personal note, uh, I'm a radiation oncologist. And when I was trying to 
decide what specialty to take, I was very much influenced by one person. And that person also happens to be from Shillong. And that person is Dr. Faith Rangad. It is because of Dr. Faith Rangad, I chose radiation oncology as my vocation, and I thank God for that. And our department of radiation oncology, as some of you know, we continue to visit this hospital, uh, providing cancer consultation from time to time. And back at Valor, we are hoping, you know, in this hospital, we'll have a full-fledged cancer service available because there's a huge number and large number of cancer patients who come from this region, and many of them come to Valor. And as CMC today is uh, emerging through this pandemic, uh, we had our own struggles, and we have now started a new campus with around 1,500 beds, where most of the specialties are relocated. Uh, back at CMC, we train close to 950 students per year, and they are all at a very highly subsidized fees, so that the students who are trained, they go back with this attitude of service to wherever they are located. And I'm glad many of you are here in this region and serving in the spirit of Christ. And CMC also has a very symbiotic relationship with several of our hospitals, which are now roughly about 168 in our network. And we work very closely with several of our partners, and one of our important partners is CMAI, and Dr. Priya John represents CMAI, and she's here with us today. So as we are training large number of students, we are aiming at developing a hub and spoke kind of a model where secondary hospitals, especially like Roberts Hospital, will be the hubs. And then they would be in turn involved with networking and developing the spokes for the smaller hospitals around them. See, the right to health uh, imposes four essential standards. It is availability, accessibility, acceptability, and quality. And it is all there in the vision of this institution. As I was reading the vision of the institution, I read this line. Compassionate, affordable, quality, and holistic care of excellence in the spirit of Christ, it resonates with the standards which are there in the world. So there's a great need to further develop on each of these aspects and be able to deliver world-class, affordable, and compassionate care. Dr. Robert and Ms. Buxley, as I read from the history, there are many others work tirelessly to develop this institution from a dispensary. But at the same time, while they're trying to develop services in the base hospital, they were also cognizant of the fact that many are there in the remote, inaccessible areas. So that's how they developed the traveling dispensaries, famously known as the Buckley Memorial Dispensary. And it is very similar to what our founder, Dr. Ida Scudder, developed what we call as the roadside clinics, where you go out to the especially people who cannot reach you. And this concept paid the way for establishment of rural health centers in various locations around this region. And these concepts in the modern healthcare language, they are calling as care shift and role shift, uh, which we keep hearing from time to time. Again, if you see the healthcare services are concentrated in the city of Shillong. But what I've been told, there are rest of at least 10 districts where there are several P PHCs. And these are the accessible areas to those people residing there. And the World Health Organization has listed about 13 sustainability development goals with 62 priority indicators. Some of the healthcare indicators uh, of this state, what I was uh, getting it from the data, it is still below several other states in the country. The metal mortality is still quite high. The average life expense See, is again below the average of the country. So can Roberts Hospital, as we ha gathered here for the centenary celebration, look at an alternative model of collaborating with these PhDs, with the government, and especially working to wide aligning with this healthcare vision of the state and the country and the SDG goals, which I mentioned earlier. So I see a huge opportunity to work towards these goals. And so with various specialists, uh, which we are training back at Velour, uh, this could be an uh, option or a channel of bringing collaborative development in the health of Meghalaya by finding innovative and implementable healthcare 
delivery solutions. I see also this is an opportunity, as we just heard from a chief minister, various goals they have, can we as a hospital align with the healthcare vision of the state, also of the country, and also be an agent for transformation and impact in the spirit of Christ. CMC will be more than willing to be a facilitator and a catalyst in developing some niche areas of services that are still in great needs for many in this region. Uh, CMC's motto states, not to be served, but to serve. So may we follow in the footsteps of Christ and take up the pledge to fulfill the motto of this institution, which I read, service to man is service to God. And we get this assurance again, which I am seeing on the theme verse, 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Thus far, the Lord helped us. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram. And we convey our best wishes to the Christian Medical College and Hospital in Velour. And we, through your words, through your speech, we are reminded once again of the common vision that shapes the calling of both these historic hospitals, which is to seek to be a witness to the healing ministry of Christ through excellence in education, in service, and in research. We are also reminded that the vision of the founding doctor of this hospital, Roberts Hospital, is so that the sick might come to be healed at the hands of the great physician. And as Dr. R. A. Hughes wrote of Dr. Roberts, he lived out the gospel, bringing salvation and compassion and strenuous hard work as his own offering. So thank you once again for underlining and reminding us all once again of the vision in which these two institutions were started and of the need to continue to carry the vision forward. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, Tell of all his wonderful acts, Psalm 105. This program will not be complete without having songs and melodies to proclaim the wonderful acts of God. We are glad to have with us three choirs joining us in this praise. We will now invite the Jaya Presbyterian Church Choir to come to the stage and deliver their song.
we have a million reasons to praise the Lord. We also have a million reasons to serve the Lord. Thank you so much to the beautiful song from the Jayao Presbyterian Church Choir. We are grateful to you for rendering this message through your song. And we pray that God will continue to bless you and use you further as you serve the Lord and minister unto him through your beautiful voices and through your music. And now we will be favored with another a song of worship and thanksgiving from the Joai Presbyterian Church Choir. And as they prepare themselves and come up to the stage, perhaps it is worthwhile to remember that as we celebrate God's uh, faithfulness in the past, it is also good to look at where the hospital has come in its present journey. From an 80-bedded hospital, it has grown into an institution of 350 uh, beds with many, many various departments. Side by side, along with the hospital, we also remember that there is a very strong supporting arm, and that is the School of Nursing, which was um, eventually upgraded into the College of Nursing just recently, beginning with sessions from 2022-2023. So now we would like to invite the Joai Presbyterian Church Choir to kindly present their song. As the Joai Presbyterian Church Choir prepares for their song, we would also like to request the Ribhoi Presbyterian Synod Choir to kindly be ready with their song. Thank you. Sakin ma, hari kasi, jaya joni, ayda jingi, missionary, ya hospital, kichu bili. Jin, 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 Jin,
We thank you, Joy Presbyterian Church Choir, for that very melodious and harmonious song that you just gave to us. And we pray that God will bless you and that you'll continue to use your talents for the glory of God. We now invite the Rebhoi Presbyterian Synod Choir to give their song. A very big thank you to all the different choirs who have delighted us with your songs of celebration, your songs of thanksgiving in today's uh, function. So I would like to thank each one of you, right from the staff and the team of the Dr. H. Gordon's Roberts Hospital for rendering us unto us the theme song, and the choirs from Jayao Presbyterian Church, Jowai Presbyterian Church and the Ribhoi Presbyterian Synod Choir. May God continue to use you more and more in the days to come. And now we have uh, come towards the end of this uh, inaugural function. And I would now like to request Reverend S.R. Dakar, the Senior Administrative Secretary of the Kasi Jaintia Presbyterian Assembly, to kindly come and propose the formal vote of thanks, after which uh, the member son F.J. Myram, who is the organizing secretary of the celebration, will kindly come and make the announcements. Chairman Reverend S.S. Majau, who chair this inaugural meeting, 
respected dignitaries and friends. It is the love of God that ushered us into this moment of joy and gladness. As we acknowledge the toil and sacrifice of the founder of this great institution, Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, words are insufficient to express our gratitude to the founder of this great institution that provides healing to the countless in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. The thoughts contained in scripture resonate in our midst. Bless the Lord, O my soul. We express our heartfelt thanks to the chief guest of the occasion, Sri Conrad K. Sangma, Honorable Chief Minister Meghalaya, for having spared his valuable time to grace the occasion and address this august gathering. Sir, thank you for the words of inspiration and encouragement shared among us today. We are inspired and motivated by your kind words. Needless to say, we grieve for the cooperation of the government of Meghalaya in all our endeavors in the days ahead. Our gratitude to Sri Preston Tansong, an honorable deputy chief minister and guest of honor for the positive response whenever we sought his assistance and valued advice for the day such as this one. Your presence in our midst today reinforces the belief that the government shares our vision for transforming Meghalaya into a health destination in the near future. Our gratitude to Sri Adalbad Nongrum, Sri Mohandro Dro Rapsang, and Sri Paul Longdo, Honorable MLA and MDC, for this area whose presence strengthens the support enjoyed by this institution from public representatives. A gratitude to all participants in today's meeting, Reverend C.S. Suching, the Secretary of the KJP Assembly, the members and Dr. R. Nongrum, the Medical Superintendent, doctors and staff of Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hospital, Reverend N.S. Pawa, the former Administ Senior Administrative Secretary of the KJP Assembly, Reverend Dr. J.F. Jarwa, the former Senior Administrative Secretary of the KJP Assembly, choirs of Jaya Presbyterian Church, Jowai Presbyterian Church, and Ribhoi Presbyterian Church Synod, representative of the Ribhoi Presbyterian Church Synod, representatives of governments, churches, local authorities, and doubles and friends who value the service provided by 100-year-old place of healing. We acknowledge with thanks, greetings from Dr. Norman Tonnell Hospital, Jowai, our sister institution and Christian Medical College and Hospital Velour our partner in furthering the institution, the interests of health and well-being of the communities in the state of Mikhalaya. We look forward to a more hands-on cooperation in the areas of human resources and technical expertise as we battle the bottlenecks faced by us in healthcare delivery system. Ngamla aru klem da penpau ye kajing kublai ka pakerpang na ka penta ki nong mi khmat ki balawan na ki balang na ki presbytery na ki sinat na ki longkemi ba ki jing seng samla ki balawan na ki jaka ki ba jan ba ki ba jingai ban pun long ye ka ni ka sengi ka ba phu ka ba kemen ha ka ba ngio i ba si bun ki jing ka khu ki jing ublai Kabangingi 
Ia kajing kublai Ia kitu barok kibala nok senyang Nagi kiti kibala terot kibala rich Langpa kijing doai Bagi kijing kerku kijang pi Bagaimana ke hospital ke yang kumni Nandu kisnam kibala mensua Mat mentah haka bangi selebrit Ia kini kajing dap si spa senyam Ban penyeng Kum kajing pensak jingkan mau Ia kata ke hospital aneks Kabang ngingi lah pentip syaki balang Kum ke jubili hospital aneks Namar kata ngi dah kemi dan tiru Baka ni kajing kersyan rat bak kajong pi Kan long kajing kerku Ya ke state baka ni kajai bin riu kajong ni Haki ni ke lomba i Kasi jantia kajong ni These acknowledgements would not be complete if I fail to acknowledge the strong supports and prayer of local churches, district presbyteries and synods who heartedly support the hospital financially through offerings and prayer. This, the hospital, this is the hospital of the people of Meghalaya and the KJP assembly in particular to serve the nation in this part of our country. May God bless us through this short speech of Board of Thanks. May God bless us as we go from here. We'll get our way to reach our home safely. Thank you. Reverend Chairman and esteemed dignitaries, after the pronouncement of the benediction, we earnestly request all of you to kindly remain seated in your own seats. We shall all partake from the lunch to be followed by tea, which we have prepared for you. But before that, we would request our former chairman of the managing committee, Reverend W.C. Kongwir, to kindly give thanks for the lunch and the tea. Since we are around 1,200 plus dignitaries present in this program, we humbly request you to kindly follow the arrangement which we have specifically made for you so that there will not be any rush in only one counter. The arrangement is, of, is as follows, and we request you to kindly follow this very strictly. For the dignitaries sitting at the dice, you can see this, uh, we have written dice, which are about 55 persons here, we request all of you to kindly go after these dice. We have prepared a separate place for all of you 55 persons in that place behind us. For the dignitaries sitting at the right wing and at the left wing, and also all the pastors, I could see some pastors sitting at the pandal, the ground level, uh, please don't mind. We would request you all the pastors with all our dignitaries sitting at the right wing and the left wing to kindly go to a place where we have specially made at my left side, on my left. And 
the other dignitaries, that means all the persons sitting at ground level, the pandal, that is all the choirs, all the donors to the centenary celebration, all other, because some of the pastors are going to the left side, so all other representatives coming from the Shillong Rilom Presbytery and all other invitees kindly go to the College of Nursing Hall, which is just down there. You can go through my, uh, to the, the path on the right side. We go to the European ward, and from the European ward, you will reach. Our volunteers are there. They will show you to the, the way to the uh, College of Nursing Hall. So, we request you to kindly follow the instruction. And thereafter, we request all the staff of the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital and staff and students of the College of Nursing to continue to have their lunch at College of Nursing and the Pandal at the College of Nursing campus. We also request all the retired nursing superintendents, deputy nursing superintendents, retired sisters, and retired staff to kindly go to my left. I repeat, all the retired nursing superintendents, deputy nursing superintendents, retired sisters and retired staff, please go to my left. Nangets kam babarok pilas ngau tuo yekan dekijing batai ngan nom da ong shio hakak tien kasi kom kijing pensa jing ken mau yekan deka centenary celebration ngila pengkre bunjat ki souvenir but kini ki don tang kendiat but ngi kerpat yepi ba pin semubha ban shim kambun ki souvenir ki don hangtai hakmat jong kani ka pandal sabhaba no mi no nang ni na kani ka campus khem da shim benta na ki ne ki souvenir ki bangi ni la pang kre ngi ker pat ngi pan ken mau ru ya ki member jong ka governing board bakin snow bha ban ek ndo lang si bit hakapor lai si teng hakamra office jong medical spotun den namar bangi don ka meeting but uh, Dr. Thomas Samuel Ram, who uh, belong Associate Director, Mission Jonka CMC and H. Baylor, but the way part, the Arnold, the representatives, the Balawan, na CMC and H. Baylor. Kubleshibon. We thank the member Sana FJ Myron for the announcements. We also thank Reverend S. R. Dakar for delivering us the vote of thanks. We acknowledge the presence of Mr. H. M. Shangpyang, M. L. A. Mausen Ram, Sri T. Khain, C. M. K. H. A. D. C., and Reverend Dr. K. Lal Rin Kima, Senior Administrative Secretary of the PCI, and other dign dignitaries whose names we may have missed and we kindly excuse you for the same. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. And this day, which we have been anticipating the whole of this year, is coming to a close. We are going to close with hymn number two, which is available in our booklet, the title being Kajing Job Okris. After we have finished singing hymn number two, we are going to have the benediction by Reverend Dr. J. F. Jarwa. He is the former moderator of PCI and former senior administrative secretary, Khasi Jandia Presbyterian Assembly. Shall we all rise up? <laughs> A jing yap kal bari, kal 
สวัสดามจริงเป็นอิมเอียงอีตอเลสเงาพามันซิมบัสวายจีสุลาจอบคาสีบาลัยกินมีกิก้อยดีจริงยามนาคิดจริงคมกินลายโอพารลาอุชนโอมลาเป็นสนิวกิคุนบาคิวชาแนชายิงอิปาบาอุนยิงเจนจอร์มากาเรกลาวายาเรียวไงเป็นสนิวคำลาบารีอาเกะทำนี้ยังลุกขับเป็นอุบาบาโอเสียมจริงสุกลาจอเป็นแท้จริงเทบาน
to continue serving you in and through this hospital. And to that end, dear Father, may the grace of the Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us and especially with all those who work in this hospital. Yes, be with all God's children all over the world. But to I, bakajing I, ay, kajang o Jesus Christ, subotrai. Kajing iet ba, kajang o play, walk ba. Lemru, but kajing yeselok, Uman siam bekuat unang pentingan. Kini kicing kerkul ayah wabley kini ay long kabor yang ibaro. Andre kam tam ya kini kan men bat kipara kijongi kibat tray bat kibandang ya tray ya kene ke hospital jongi. Tu kini kiju kicing kerkul kini long lam long rekan. But keep parabangait ba iye chong i baro hang no hang no ba kiton has la chong i ka kendo na do menta ba hala kerta amen. Tau bakan bait ke jigi si menta ke jong i ha ke jing duai ke malapun bait na ka organizing committee. Ingin buat dia boleh, buat aingu nak kementerian kencing pun kere. Jangka organising komiti yang kencing bam nak kementerian jongi. Tung ini tuai. Kum kedak kencing yang kemen lem jongi baru kikun kijong me ablay yang kene kesni. Bat kene ke jubilee celebration centenary jangka Dr Gordon Robert Hospital. Ni aingu ini nak kementerian ke program ke bangila pendap. Bat kumju ah kene ke por. Yang kencing pun kere. Kita ke hospital, but ke organising komiti kita pun kira nak kebentar ke jongi. Itu ay ablay beban kerku. Iki kiti baru kita pun kira ini kijing bam nak kebentar jongi. Bangin yo iki met kita koy kita kya. But ingin mi nang ni lembat kijing kemen, kijing snowpa, but kijing aingu. Ya ke kerdeng ke jongi ko try Jesu nak kebentar kikam baru kita melale. Snow kijing dua ke jongi try boba. Nama ini ni barok ni dem ni pan ni kerpat. Harga keteng ke jumlah utrai. Wadunong penim jongi Jesus Kristus. Amen.